How to fall asleep in just under 2 minutes? That sounds unreal because you've been trying to fall asleep for the last 30 minutes or an hour or two, but you couldn't. That's why you're watching this video. And you know what? You came to the right place. You're about to learn the easiest and the best way to fall asleep. The technique that I'm going to teach you in this video will help you for the rest of your life. Like literally, you will no longer have a problem with your sleep. From now onwards, you will get to your bed and you will fall asleep before you even realize it. And to be honest, I discovered this solution accidentally and it worked. And since then, I still use it. I suggested the trick to my friends and guess what? It worked for them. So I'm confident that it's going to work for you as well. But before we get into that, you have to understand a few things, such as how your brain works, why can't you fall asleep, and how to trick your brain into falling asleep instantly. So make sure to watch the video till the end if you really want to fix your sleep problem. We all know that feeling when you are trying to fall asleep, but then suddenly your mind starts out of nowhere bringing your worst memory. You start to remember things you would never think about in a million years. But yet now, when you're trying to sleep, your brain is like, let's try to remember your childhood's worst memories. It happens all the time. You try different poses, but it doesn't work. I struggle with it a lot. And guess what? I accidentally found a solution. Here's what happened. I love reading books, especially if it's a hard copy, but I've never been a fan of audiobooks. I just couldn't concentrate, so I avoided them for a long time. But once upon a time, I decided to give it a try. I downloaded an audiobook and started listening. I was lying on my bed while I was listening, and guess what happened in around 5 to 10 minutes? Unfortunately, or fortunately in this case, I fell asleep. The next morning, I woke up, but I couldn't remember anything from that audiobook. So I hated them even more, because to me at that particular time, they seemed quite useless. But when night approached and it was time to sleep, I couldn't fall asleep. I don't really know why, but I was lying on my bed for half an hour already, but it didn't seem like I'm about to fall asleep anytime soon. And that's not normal for me, because I don't really have a problem with sleep. Usually, I fall asleep in 10 or 15 minutes at best, but sometimes I can't. This time, I was lucky. An idea crossed my mind. Yesterday, I fell asleep immediately after listening to an audiobook, so I decided to try that again and guess what happened? I fell in just a few minutes asleep. And since then, I started listening to audiobooks to fall asleep. It might sound silly, but here is why it works. You see, your brain can't stop thinking. So when you try to stop thinking, it starts opening old archives from your brain and you start remembering all kind of strange memories. That's why if you're stressed about something, for example, you might find it also difficult to fall asleep. So what you need to do is that divert your attention to something else. Something less emotional, something a little bit boring like an audiobook or a lecture. In fact, I no longer use audiobooks. I just go to YouTube and find something that I'm interested in that I don't have to watch but just can listen, like a podcast for example. What I want to point out here is that it works better if you listen with headphones. I usually put on my AirPods and I fall asleep in under a few minutes. And as soon as I turn around, my AirPod would fall and the video stops. But I'm already sleeping. I have suggested this technique to multiple friends. And surprisingly so far, it has been working for everyone. So I'm quite confident that it's going to work for you as well. But there are a few things I would suggest you to do to make it much easier to fall asleep. Because this technique isn't enough alone all the time. Going to bed around the same time is vitally important because we are creatures of habit. Your brain hates thinking and making decisions. It wants you to get a routine and follow it strictly, which means if you go to bed at 11 pm for example every night, 
your brain will prepare itself to fall asleep around that time every day. Having a fixed sleep schedule just makes it super easy to fall asleep every single night. I've been doing this for over a decade, so I can confidently tell you that it works. What also increases your probability of falling asleep faster and easier is having a night routine, which means you don't just go to bed but prepare yourself. It's a trigger to your brain that it's time to sleep. It could be like taking a shower, changing your clothes, reading a book, meditating, journaling, whatever. It depends on you. In fact, taking shower is an amazing idea to fall asleep. Because when you're sleeping, the temperature of your body drops. That's actually why you feel cold early in the morning and can't get out. So when you get into a colder room after a hot shower, your body's temperature falls, which speeds up the process. That's another reason why it's much easier to fall asleep in a colder room than when it's warm. This means the temperature of the room might be the reason why you can't fall asleep. Here are a few things to keep in mind when you want to sleep. It's extremely important to turn off all lights because your brain associates lights with daytime. So one way to signal to your brain that it's time to sleep is to turn off all the lights before you go to bed. Avoid naps or caffeine after 4 p.m. Make sure that there isn't any clock in front of you because it will drive your attention. And now it's time for you to try these tricks. I use them every single day and they work. My friends started using them, it worked for them. So I'm confident that they will work for most of you at least. So give them a try and if you know someone who also struggles with falling asleep, make sure to share the video with them. Thanks for watching and until next time.